Welcome to Chef Marquette's Cajun Kitchen. Hot dang. Hey, we got an exciting video for you. Listen, quite a few people have got in contact with me and want to know, okay, how do I take, how do I boil crawfish if I'm in an apartment? You can't do it. And I can't afford to go out and spend six and seven dollars a pound of boil crawfish. I don't want to buy a sack of crawfish just for me. What do I do? Hey, let me tell you what. It's a no mess thing. We're gonna boil some crawfish for one or two people. And I might even throw in a few shrimp, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. And this is the best way to no mess weed. First thing you're gonna need, and I'll show you this right now. Well, watch me. We're gonna walk together. Walk a walk a walk a. You have to get you a little setup. Find you a little setup to use, you know, for your, uh, to do your boil. Here, I've got a little pan I'm using. It's got a little strainer on the inside. I usually fry fish with that, but guess what? I also use it to boil small amounts of crawfish. And I've got an electric burner. Get you an electric burner. Check the wattage. Make sure you have a high wattage. Higher your wattage, the more heat you're going to get out of it. And it'll boil your water fast, because let me tell you what, you're going to need that, all right? Forget that. Put it on your patio and use it. All right, let's get this thing going. Got my water boiling pretty good. I'll go ahead and start adding. Put my onions in there. I'm only going to add my crawfish crab ball. I'm only going to add about eight ounces. I've got about a gallon and a half water in there. You want to make sure you try to get your burner this high wattage. Oh yeah, that's my nice. butter, stick of butter. Just watch me. Just watch me. One lemon. Got one onion cut in half, by the way. Love garlic, so I'm gonna put me three heads of garlic. Put my little bee potatoes and my corn. Right now I'm going to cover this up and just let it do its thing. Okay, I'm going to go 20 minutes on this because it just started. And I'm going to put the rest of my stuff in there. Oh yeah, baby! God dang! Alright, baby, let's see what we got going on, boy. It's pretty warm. Look at that baby go, look at it go. All right, I'm just gonna leave everything just like it is. Cause it looks just so good. It hadn't been that much time, maybe 15 minutes. Anyway, that's my crawfish. I'm gonna put my crawfish in there. You say, well, where's the live crawfish? I'm not doing live crawfish. I don't want that mess of peelings and all that. Here's the shrimp. 
That's some good looking shrimp, baby. All right. Mushrooms. Throw some shrooms in there. Got to have some shrooms. Now I'm going to put the lid back on it. Yeah, let me put the put it in the water first. That might help, eh? Oh yeah. Now let's just let her go. When she starts boiling, I'm gonna give it five minutes, and that's good enough. All right. That is done. This rascal here is boiling up the stone. It's been five minutes. This is good enough. Raw fish tails, shrimp, corn, mushrooms, potatoes. If there's anything else, let me know. Mm. All right, that's it for the day, the chef okay? This is seasoned awesomely. Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh. Raw fish are perfect. Everything took the spices real good. Especially the garlic. Now this is garlic. You just gotta kind of squeeze the pot. It's hot, Jack. When you want to do it safely around your apartment complex, do it the way I do. Invest your money. Get you a little electric stove, electric burner. Do it outside. On a patio. Get you a bunch of beer because your neighbors are coming over. Get bouquet, and I'll see you later. Aye, oh yeah, baby. Damn, where Corey at? Well, Corey gotta eat some of this. Ooh, woo, it's seasoned. Seasoned good. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, and you got your thumbs up. Aye, oh yeah, baby.